Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us today. Well, we've been trying to bring you more gear specific videos, and in the interest of continuing that, we're doing another holster video for you today. And we're going to be talking about the Mini Wing by Black Point. A fellow shooter and colleague of mine turned me on to this particular holster, and I can't thank him enough for it because now I'm the proud owner of many of them. And to tell you exactly why that's the case, we'll have to cover all the features, which we're going to do in just a minute. All right, once again, welcome back. Thank you so much for being with us. If this is your first time coming to the channel, uh, welcome aboard. Thanks for being here. If you've been watching our videos and you're back again, we appreciate your support. Thank you. If you like our content and you haven't subscribed, you could help us out by doing that. And you can always hit the button right there to make that happen. Uh, but let's get right into it. So, this is the Mini Wing by Black Point. And before I get too far into this, let me just show you that we have a safe and clear firearm here. You can see that we have nothing in the chamber. You can see all the way through there. And obviously the magazine is empty, so we've got that squared away. So let's take a look at this thing. So there's a lot of things about this holster that kind of make it nice, but just as the design, the name of it says, it's called the mini wing. And they call that because of these little leather wings right here. The whole idea behind this is you've got this you know, very well-made Kydex piece right here. And as you can see, when I remove the weapon, there's a bit of retention. And I'm going to demonstrate that again in a second. But you've got your Kydex piece here very securely affixed to these leather wings. And then you have your clips. Well, that allows this to contour to the body. And it seems like a simple thing. But when you actually put the holster on, it really adds up to a lot of comfort. And I'll demonstrate that here in just a little bit. But... The clips, if you take a look at it here, you've got your attachment points for the clips, and then you see you've got these three different holes. Well, between the holes on the clips and the holes on the wing, you can adjust the cant and ride of this holster to virtually anything that you want, which is really nice. And the materials are really well made. I've actually kind of been putting this thing through some abuse, trying to trying to treat it roughly and uh, they've really done a good job with this but let me show you that retention once again and of course we're using a uh, six hour p938 for this demonstration for me and i want to clarify um, i've got several of these for smaller holsters that's kind of what i had in mind for it not because they just make them for small holsters but because that was one of the problems uh, i was trying to solve was getting me some other inside the waistband holster options. I often will pocket carry a little gun like this or use a sticky, but some of the more popular holster options I just didn't like. And so when I found this, this really answered a lot of, you know, questions that I had, solved a lot of problems. But once again, let me show you this. Once this is in place, I am really working this thing. And as you can see, it is not coming out. So one of the complaints I hear people mention for a lot of other small holsters, especially something like a, you know, a sticky or something that's really, really comfortable, sometimes doesn't have any retention. Well, that is not a problem with this. This thing is not going anywhere unless you make a specific point to remove it. So if you're interested in security while it's in there, you're certainly going to have it. But... Once again, it gives you a lot of flexibility, and we're going to show you what that looks like here in just a second. All right, so just to give you an idea of what it's like to actually uh, put this thing on. Now, it'd be a little awkward to try to do this actually um, on the body while I'm trying to wear it, so let me just demonstrate here. You always want to make sure you have a good belt. Um, that is so key to having a comfortable holster configuration is having a good belt. There's so many good ones. Um, this here is actually a, uh, a Groove Life belt. And the only reason why I have this particular belt in place is because it's lightweight, but it's also pretty stiff. So it's good for some of these, um, some of these smaller guns that I still want a good holster support on. But anyway, let me show you this. So obviously it goes inside the waistband. Now you can take this holster and then obviously your clips are gonna come over the belt, just like that. Well, once it's inside, of course, once again, 
that's all you really see is the clips there. And if you'll notice when I turn this up, you can see that, notice how easily it just contours with the inside of the denim. The wings will move. So wherever you have this set, if you have this on the side, like at three o'clock, or whether you have it, you know, kind of in the smaller, wherever it is, if it's, if it's on the side or if it's coming and kind of coming around, you've got that ability for it to contour to the body. And if you look, you'll see that the only part of the holster that's actually making contact with your body at all is that small area right down the middle. And that ends up being super, super comfortable. And of course, and then once you have it set in place, it's very easy to reholster the weapon just by coming straight in. Now I did that with one hand with just it being on the belt there. But if you're wearing it and you've got that tension, obviously, because your belt is fastened, it's real easy to draw this and then reholster it without having to change anything on the belt line. And I really like that because obviously if you have a soft holster and you pull the firearm out, you're going to have to make some adjustments to try to get it back in. But because this is Kydex and it's formed so well and it sits in place so well, you're not going to have that problem. So, and once again, if you notice the configuration, see the cant, you know, I can make a lot of changes, but whenever this is actually on and these clips are up, you notice the weapon is slightly forward. That's the cant that I've chosen for how I like to have my firearm. And once you get those clips set that way, once you tighten it up, of course, it'll stay exactly where you want it. So it gives you a ton of flexibility. It's really easy to wear and it's really comfortable for everyday wear. So overall impressions of the Black Point Mini Wing. Well, I got to tell you, you know, if you go to Black Point's website and you take a look, there are so many different configurations that you can get for this. Um, not just the weapon, but you can change the, um, the color of the leather. You can change the color of the Kydex. You can get additional loops. Um, you can get cutouts for um, your optics. You can... Um, have it configured differently if you've got a threaded barrel gun, if you want the bottom open. There's a lot of things you can get done. Now, like I say, for me, I was looking for a solution for the guns I carry the most often. Um, because I do carry a lot of small guns, and I feel like that a lot of my holster options for those were not real secure. And I really, really like this. It's got a good solid retention. It's really good quality, and like I say, for everyday wear, you don't even really feel like that it's there. So it's it's a really amazing little holster. Now these go for around $90. Uh, you know, it depends on how you configure it, if you get extra loops, things like that. But for the quality that you're getting compared to what other holsters cost, I think that's pretty good. And you know, the other thing about this product is it is an American uh, company. So they are made here in the US. So if it's important to you to support you know, local business for your gear, then that's something you'll be doing if you go with the Black Point Mini Wing or any of their other products. So, well, I guess that's gonna do it. Um, I can, like I say, I can definitely recommend this holster, um, but um, we're gonna wrap it up for today. And uh, we'll be back soon with another video for you. So as always, until that time, everybody, please be safe and have a great day. Thanks a lot.